Leonardo da Vinci once said, I roamed the countryside, searching for answers to things I did not understand. James Kilroy is in the same position right now. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Mr. Hitsman, I presume? Yeah, that's me. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm James Kilroy. Nice to meet you. All right. Well, it's cold out here. You didn't warn me. It's going to be snowing here in uh, uh, San Andreas. Yeah, we're getting through the winter season. Should be done here shortly. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, uh, I just throw my luggage here in the back, and I guess we can get on on the road. We'll warm up yes. a little bit. Sounds good, let's do it. All right. All right, you don't mind if I call you David, do you? I, I've got right ahead. All righty. So, uh, we were talking on the phone a little bit while I was planning my trip out here, and you said, uh, you've been running across some crazy, uh, Crazy people stalking around in bushes, some weird lights in the sky, things like that. I'm telling you, man, this uh, this state has it all. I've seen ghosts, I've seen self-driving cars with no one else in it, trailers stacked on top of one another. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff, man. Yeah, that's what I've kind of been uh, researching. I've been looking at your all's uh, news reports in the past, and then some newspaper clippings. It seems like there's a there's definitely a lot of weirdness that goes on out here. Yeah, you got that right. I, uh, I don't know if you saw that weasel news clip I sent you a couple weeks ago about the aliens. But man, it's the story I'm after right now. Yeah, that's what uh, actually pushed me over the edge there to come out here. Uh, that, that story's just too good. I'd like to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I don't know about, uh, about all that. I haven't taken a trip up there myself. But I've heard some uh, some crazy stuff come out of that uh, building that we call the Humane Labs. I don't know what they do, but it's crazy. 
And see, that's the one name that keeps coming up over and over again as I've done my research, is Humane Labs. What exactly are they? No one quite knows. Uh, I've heard that they do experiments on gorillas. There's been a rumor of Bigfoots and Sasquatches and Yetis. There was stuff about aliens at one point. I don't know. No one quite knows. Interesting. You ever try to get in there? Fence is 10 feet tall. Armed security at the gates. You can't even go down the road without them knowing you're there. Huh. Might have I've, to take uh, a trip out there, see what this place looks like. I just picked up a little dune buggy not that long ago. Gonna get it all ready on the trailer. I guess there's some trails that go up the backside of that place. See if we could take that up there and go for it. Yeah, that sounds like a winner of an idea. Now, uh, now, David, I'm gonna be carrying a lot of camera equipment with me filming all this, so uh, I hope you don't mind regarding that. No, I, uh, listen, I take cameras and video and photographs of everything that I can. Wait till you see my house, man. It's just everywhere. It's where it comes from. All right, man. Uh, well, sounds like we're in for a good little mystery. Sure hope so. I'm hoping this is a winner here. Say, so have you lived around here your whole life, David? Born and raised. I uh, grew up in Del Perro area. Graduated from Los Santos High and then the college. And uh, moved out here to the Mirror Park uh, El Rancho area not that long ago. Probably five, six years. Hey, nice, nice. I'm actually from down south. You know, we just we see some weird lights in the sky. And we've got our Bigfoot stories too. But uh, man, I have never heard anything like what you've been telling me on the phone. Listen, I didn't expect it either. I've been, like I said, around here my entire life. I've never once run into something this crazy. See, it's starting to make me wonder if this might not be a hub of sorts. You know, government has something set up here or some sort of special portal or energy or, or, or something, you know? I will say, there is a government building up there uh, not too far from the house. No one quite knows what they do either. Same type of fence, same armed security. Just another humane lab south. Huh. Well, that'd be quite interesting to check out as well. So what kind of what kind of monsters you have up here, David? What 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 have people been seeing? Well, there was a, a week long shrine where people saw Bigfoots. People have seen ghosts. People thought that there was murders that happened that led these ghosts to go on and torture Sandy Shores and the residents there. Again, people have seen aliens. Uh, if you name it, I'm sure someone's seen it. Yeah, I'll be, uh, well, I hope we catch something on camera. I I've got a lot of equipment, but I'm sure you do too. Oh, I got tons of equipment. My house is just up here. Got a camper that we can take to. It's normally what I take. There it is right there, actually. It's normally what I take on my expedition. I see you got a lot of antennas electrical equipment, surveillance equipment, everything like that. Well, you name it. This is it right here. It's this green one. Can't miss it. All right. Go get you settled in. Right this way. Here it is. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, I can definitely say you are uh, dedicated to your work there, David. Yeah, this is uh, this is the hub of all things me. Let's see, we got case files on a desert UFO. We got newspapers, surveillance equipment. Is this whole place wrapped up in a Faraday cage? I mean, it might as well be. Cameras 365 Jeez. around the entire house. 
full internet access. I got uh, equipment to see if I can't get into databases. Zombie outbreaks? Yeah, we, uh, some people reported that last year down in the Mirror Park area, not too far from where we are. Really? Zombies? Yeah. I, uh, I don't uh, think anyone found any of them, but uh, they were there. I mean, I've heard cases of voodoo practitioners in Louisiana, you know, quote unquote zombifying their victims, but real life zombies, I'll be damned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You paranoid much of people looking out around you? Get all these cameras right here. Well, listen, man, when you uh, investigate this sort of stuff, government doesn't like it too much. I'm sure you're aware of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Don't get me wrong. I, hell, I'm at Disneyland right now. I love this place. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I spend most of my time, especially back here. These are all the books and information that I keep, you know, in case I need to reference anything. Oh, geez, yeah. This is the magazine that ran not that long ago, actually, there on that box. Is this a is this a movie alien or is this what it's people have been tell. seeing? Well. There's been a couple different sightings from what I've heard. I've heard sightings of an all black figure with like green stripes. I've heard sightings of an all green figure, kind of slim built. I've heard sightings of something that kind of resembles that. Although we tend to see those in the movies. Yeah, but yeah, that's right. You do have a movie studio in this town, don't you? Yeah, we got a, we got a quite large one and uh, trust me. They uh, take everything and run with it as quick as they can. All right. Well, David, I believe in hitting the ground running. What do you say uh, you show me about where this Humane Labs is? Yeah, we can do that. Unpack your stuff and right. uh, meet me outside. I'll get the trailer hooked up. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'm excited to see what you got to show me up there. Well, where do you want to go first? Want to go to the Humane Labs, or do you want to go to the government building? Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. Whichever is closer, we can just check them out in order. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go right by the uh, government building, and then we'll hop on the highway. It's not that far from us. Probably a mile and a half. Sounds good. Let's do that. All right. Let's do it. About a mile up the road here is our first target. It's the government center is what they call it. No one knows what goes on because the FIB and all of them have their own buildings downtown. Plus, governor and all of them have their own offices downtown. This building really means nothing. There's no known businesses or department heads whatever that work out of there yeah, it's interesting y'all ever see any like uh cars go in and out of it on the rare occasion you'll see one or two but again you can't really get past the road heavy security tall fencing it's pretty lock and key you know did my eyes deceive me or did that sign just say caution zombies ahead well You'll get that. You'll, uh, you'll notice around here there's a lot of weird signs. A lot of weird graphics and graffiti. Yeah, no one quite knows why. They just show up. 
All right, here it is. That's the entrance. You ever been back in there? Never. See that gate right there? Closest you can get. I take it it's this building right up here on top of the hill? Oh, yeah. And look at the wall around it, too. Can't mess with it. Makes me wonder what they're trying to keep in there. I don't know. Let me get you up here on the highway. You can get a little better view. That wall goes go. all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Got barbed wire on the top. About 10 foot tall. Hey, you might give me just one second here, David. Hey, you go right ahead. Full well he was being tracked, James couldn't resist the opportunity to snap a couple of photos of this quote-unquote government building. David made it sound way too important to pass up. Just be careful now. This camera's all over this place. They'll know who you are before you know who they are. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that. Uh... Man, that building, though. What is in there? Yeah, no one knows. See helicopters, you can see the helipad from here. Helicopter will come in maybe once or twice a day, take back off. No one knows where they go. Any yeah. markings on any of the cars or helicopters that come in here? Nothing. All the cars look like normal civilian vehicles like you'd see on the road. All the helicopters, uh, well, they're all blacked out. Dude. Some of them have a gold stripe down the side. Other than that, there's no markings. Nothing. Huh. All right, well, I have a feeling we'll be back here. Oh, I do too. I think it's all connected somehow. All right, let's get over to that Humane Labs. Kind of interested to see what's over there. All right, let's do it. There was an eerie feeling in the air. James was starting to get a little bit excited. There's something happening around here. And it was ringing every alarm bell in James's head. Here's the road, dead end road, one way in, one way out, surrounded by these mountains. Makes me wonder if there's anybody up there scoping us out right now. Like I said, at the government facility, they know you're there or you even know they're there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's motion detectors and 
road sensors and any else. You know, all kinds of stuff around here. I wouldn't be surprised. Not one bit. So where's these pathways that you use to, uh, you know, doom buggy up and down to? Well, it's uh, not right here. We got to go on kind of the back side of it. It'll be a little bit different area to launch the truck, but they're kind of off to our uh, our left currently on top of this ridge. Oh, Jesus, will you look at this place? Let's see, similar security shacks, razor wire fence all the way around. I mean, you, you, it, no one knows what's going on. Look, you can see someone standing there right now. We might have attracted some attention. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a car patrolling around the whole base. Yep. Stuff happens day in and day out. And we can get out. I can take you up a little here to our right. Show you some of the rest of the building you can't see. Now I'm wondering, should we even park here? Or should we uh, try to come... Look at that backside. Well, it's up to you. They can't do much right now where we are. But if you go much farther past that stop sign down there, they can do whatever they want. Now, I see a guy who looks like security, but who's the guy in the suit? Well, I don't know if I told you, but... These stories that I've heard of the people seeing the aliens. Must have seen a guy in a suit. All black suit, white shirt, driving a vehicle around. That, uh, well, I can just say has ties to this facility. David, are you telling me that we've got men in black around here? Well,. I don't know if that's exactly the right word to call them, but it sure seems like it. Yeah, I'd like to definitely try to get a better view of this place. Let's, uh, let's turn around and see if we can't find something up in the hills. All right, let's do it. Hop on in. All righty. All right, there's a little lap out there, just, you know, in case. Yeah, I got it. These, uh, these mountains are a little, little steep. There it is in all its glory. From what I heard what I've gathered that it leads right to the lake too they got tunnels and all kinds of exit corridors that something happens just hop in those and end up in the in the ocean all right I'm gonna get out and take a take a photo of this yeah go right ahead and yeah, just be careful
Yeah, looking at it. I mean, they got ocean access. And they, they got the lakes right behind us. What's it? All right. I need to I need to be honest with you, man. Yeah. I've been holding back some information from you. Yeah, what 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 kind of information there, David? Well, we need to go to a safe spot. Listen, James. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I think you've found that out. Yeah, I've been picking up on that vibe. And like I said, there's more than I've been holding back. Um, that Weasel News article, there was a little bit more in there. There was a kind of unedited version that went out to some of the conspiracy theorists around the area. Oh, yeah? What so, was that? Some information about a couple extra things. Black vehicle. Heavy window tint. Guys with suits driving. License plate are redacted. Literally spelled redacted. There's a story about a couple deputies that, wow, I guess they had a pretty large encounter with this guy and got to know uh, what was really going on. What was and, that, David? Uh, I couldn't really tell you. I haven't talked to them myself, but something about a device and an alien guy that was, you know, jumped off a cliff and uh, some stuff that happened at the Humane Labs, but like I said, the, the article only won so deep. He was just it's standing there, and Hold he on. jumps. David, I'm getting a call, and I don't know who would know I'm out here. James Kilroy speaking. Stop digging around. We are watching. Who is this? We are watching. Can you talk to me? That was just a mysterious voice that just said, Stop digging around. We are watching. Well, I think we need to head back to the house, regroup our information. You can park right behind me. James had already learned not to trust most people that he had run across. But he really wanted to trust David. This omission of information from David, though, really did not settle well with James. James started to question if he had jumped into some loony bin crackpot type story. Listen. Yeah. A couple things you gotta know about this place, okay? Uh-huh. Anytime we leave, this cage has to be locked. Okay? 24-7. You're sleeping, cage has to be locked. So much information here. It's critical that no one gets it. Okay? I can understand that. That'd be no problem. All right. Follow me. See these monitors here? That have all the code? Yeah. That's the life support for this entire place. Ever gets turned off. Ever. Okay. All right. You do that. Years of work, recordings, videos, everything gone. Okay. All right. I can understand that. All right. Grab a seat. I'll be right back. The anxiety grew in James. He was questioning David's sanity. Could David be trusted? Or was this just a waste of time for James? All right. Here's the key to this place. It's good for the front door and that gate. All right. All right. I appreciate that. Come and go as you please. Just remember that gate's got to be shut no matter what. All right. I understand. All right. Hang on one more second. James was about to leave. 
But then David presented him with something that would forever change the course of James's life. What the hell is that? This is the device. Or at least the best replica I could have of it. David held it in his hands the very thing that James had been hearing about for his time as a paranormal investigator. This could be the breakthrough. This could be the key. James had no other choice at this point than to jump down the rabbit hole and see how far it went.